back in Wayne Kanabi's uh, rail repair shop. He's one of our main sponsors at BlackstoneBass.com. Like I said, he's got a plethora of rods, reels, hard to get parts. He repairs everything from fresh water, salt water, brackish, rods, reels. Hey, I got a, a rod in here right now trying to get an eye fixed on it. I blame it on my partner. He's always knocking my fishing poles down and breaking the eyes out of them. But anyway, uh, how you doing today, Wayne? Doing fine now, Mr. Gregory. How you doing? Oh, just fine. Uh, we got a, a Rammy Fishing wrote in with a question about uh, a spinning reel wouldn't go up and down, so I figured we'd try to maybe take one apart and see if we can uh, solve the issue there. Absolutely. All right. So you been doing any fishing? A little bit. Well, you catching any? Oh, catching a few you, here you, and there. You can't catch them like I catch them. No. I can catch them. I just don't brag about it. Where did you fit? Where did you finish last year in the tournament? Oh, uh, last year? Well, uh, it's 2018 now. We ain't no use to discuss that. I mean, no use to get down about last year. Well, but uh, I didn't uh, do so well. <laughs> I want you to. I, I tell you, that's a nice looking hat you got on. All right. <laughs> I'll get you one next and, time. And uh, you know, don't right, Here down. we are on uh, our main sponsor, Wayne Kanabi Real Repair Shop. We had a, a writer write in with a comment, uh, Rammy Fishing, and he wanted to know about his fishing reel. Wayne, he said that his spinning reel, picked it up for me, Wayne, help me out. <laughs> he said when he turned the handle, of course, this one works fine, that his fishing line would, would stick on a certain part of the spool. It right. wouldn't go up and down like it should. This right. one works fine. Spin it so uh, show him how it should work. Right, this is just an old reel we're using for um, an example. So, yeah. if your reel's not going up and down and the line is getting stuck in a certain area on the spool of a spinning reel, Wayne, what is normally the problem? Well, it's, it's most of the time, you got a you got an oscillating gear in there, and if it, uh, it's got a little old knob on it, and a lot of times that'll break off, but I'm going to go in this reel here and show you. Okay, before you go there, so what'd you do? Just take the outside uh, screws off? Yeah. Don't go too fast. People at home don't know how to take reels apart as All quick right. as you, sir. Okay. So you took the handle out first. Took the handle on out. You got to always you, do that so you get the side off. Okay, now we're moving the side plate. Moving the side plate. <clears throat> All right. I think Wayne's a little upset. Uh, me and his dog ate all his pickles and Vienna sausages for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right. so we got her inside now. And, and right. pretty much all of the spinning reels are basically the same, right, Wayne? Yeah, the, the new ones are a little like the <clears throat> Stratix, and some of them are a little more complicated than the others, but these are mostly the same. Okay. Now we're going to take and we're going <clears> to <throat> spin this thing until we get it back. What do you mean when you say back? Okay, let me, let me get, get a picture back. of that. All right, spin it again so people can see. See that thing? This is what goes back and forward to make your spool move. See? Okay, that arm. Okay, yeah. so you got it always pulled to the back of the reel. Right. Now, okay. You see that screw right there? Yes, sir. All right, we want to always make sure. See, that screw is loose. And when it works up out like that, it'll hit the main gear. And that will cause, I'm going to show you, that will cause... You can, then you can take this on out. Then you can take, off, okay. take this out. And then, you, if you look at your oscillating gear. Point got, to that with the screwdriver for us. That little tit right there. Okay, let me get over here at angle. See, if that little tit breaks off, you're out of luck. Let me zoom in. Oh, I see it now. Okay, see? that's the oscillating gear. Because see, when that thing, when that gear turns... See there? It goes round like that. Right, and that makes the rod go up and down. And it makes your spool go up and down. All right, show me how that turns with that little piece on. Will it do it? This is this is this is you what you call the oscillating gear, and this here is your cross wind block. Okay. In other words, when you turn it, I'll turn it like this with another screwdriver here. Let me show you. And I'm gonna just hold that kind of in sure, place. Sure, sure. See there? See okay. it coming back? Right. Now watch it go forward. Right. See? So there's two problems it could be with uh Right. It could be the that question. It could be the screw is loose hitting the, the screw the screw what made it break. Okay. When it hit that main drive gear, see that thing comes around. And when it hit that main drive gear, if it's backed out, it hit this gear and made that tit break off. Okay. So you pretty much need to do what? Get another reel or either parts for this for the No, you just need to get the oscillating gear. The gear itself. You okay. just need to get this new gear. Right and that's here. something you could do, no problem, if they wanted to call you and ship your reel or do sure, whatever? Sure, sure. Okay. And Wayne, just uh, I know we've done some videos before, but just so people know, you work on all types of reels. You still work on reels for Cabela's, Bass Pros, all the sporting goods stores here around Richmond, dances. Dance. Okay. Cabalas. Fresh water, salt water. Cabela's. Okay. So you want to explain how we put it back together? Let's say we got all the right. part in. 
All right, we got the pot in. You gotta give me a little room yeah. on the hand so I can see. I know it's tough to get my big self in here. We put this oscillating gear back in here. Okay, so what holds Make, that in? It just got a screw right in the in middle. In the middle, okay, okay. So we got that back in. Right. If one of the new reels, they got a worm gear just like everything else, like okay. it, like it's bait casters. Okay. Now, we'll put your cross wind block back on here like it's supposed to be. Right. Now. It sits right on that little gear. Right. Then, we got to put this in because you got to take... Put your put your main drive gear in now, because uh, if you see don't, that? okay. Because you got then you put your spool back in, your spool, and then you make sure it's in that cross wind block, and your little cross wind block is on that little that little tip setting up there, and then you put that in now. I see, it just goes together, kind of right. like a little train. <laughs> yep, and then you put your screw in, and this is a screw that causes a problem. Okay, I'll wait till you move your hand. I'll get a shot of that. You can point right, to it. I'm going to point this little screw here. Backs out like that. And then when the main drive gear comes... Can you comes, point to that little screw with the screwdriver? Right there. Because hand in the way. Right, little, right okay. there. Now, when that thing comes around, see, it, just like that, it, that's oh, locked. And see? That, and it, it won't hurt this. It won't hurt that screw, but it'll break that little old tit off. And of that's that. what happens when you turn the handle. You yes, don't realize sir. that that's backed out. That's right. Okay. You don't realize this little screw will back out, and and it's like I say, it's got to be tight. They got Loctite on them. Oh, okay, I didn't realize. And they, that. they but oil and stuff will kill your Loctite. Now, see, we got it. See a spool going up and down <clears> like it's supposed to. Right. And your cross wind block is coming back. Okay. And then last step would be to do what? Just put the four screws in on the outside. Right. You want to do that just yeah. to finish it up. Yep. So people won't be commenting. Hey, you never finished it. <laughs> We put the burn back in there. Make sure that's back in. Then we just put the top back on. Put the lid back on. There we go. Just like that. 